Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel. Guys, you know the drill, let's do some housekeeping. Guys, make sure that you subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button. Make sure, make sure that you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you are already a subscriber, make sure that when you're watching this video that you see that you are still subscribed and that you still have the bell clicked for the notification because sometimes things happen. But anyway, nevertheless, guys, the other thing I ask you guys to do is to support me by signing up to my channel membership which is $1.99 a month, and you do have to be 18 years old or older to join. It is for exclusive live streams with your girl, Swirl. No, not Earl, but, <laughs> okay, anyway, I was trying to wrap. But um, anyway, a rhyme, oh, gosh. So really quickly, guys, I want to do a video for first time mommies, and this is basically, um, Basically, I wanted to do this because I was speaking to my one of my customers and I and Dolly Sis and I have quite a bit of people that message me and guys I I promise you guys I love you guys so much but I cannot get to all my messages sometimes and sometimes my messages might seem a little short but I am really stretched thin right now so um I thought I would do a video and um, get Phoebe changed. It was a perfect opportunity to get Phoebe changed. I don't change her as much on camera, um, but we're gonna we're gonna try to make it happen. So um, before we get started, Phoebe is the Willow Awake sculpt. She is full body silicone in super soft um, silicone, poured sculpted by Claire Teller. Um, which her website is Claire Teller Dolls. Um, so it's www.clairetellerdolls.com. <laughs> so is everybody like, they'd be like, where do you get the kits from? Or where do you get the dolls from? Um, I painted her myself and I did have a good friend of mine, uh, root her for me, um, which she does not root for other people. Um, so anyway, with that being said, I'm going to show you guys with her and I will talk to you guys and also get her dressed. So number one, a lot of stuff is maybe I consider mistruths or exaggerations of the silicone. The silicone is fairly durable. Um, it can be stretched like crazy. Um, I would not recommend that you do that to something that's so valuable and something that you want to keep for a while um because you know there are times where you can actually damage them so yes that's true um but you can enjoy them um you really can um the depending on the softness is you know you definitely got to be you know really really careful with them you know as far as when I say careful, like how you handle them so that they don't fall all over the place and stuff like that. Now, keep in mind, Phoebe is probably the softest baby that I've had in my collection, but I love the way she feels. I love her more so in sleepers and stuff because, you know, her movement is so nice, but it's nicer when she's all like bundled up, like if that makes sense. So anyway, um, but... The main thing with uh, silicone is not laying them on sharp objects. Um, you know, oh man, I haven't, I, it's like second nature to me right now. So it's kind of, I gotta try, try to think. Um, if they have drinking wets, you only want to give them water. You don't want to give them, you know, formulas and different, you know, stuff that's going to smell and stinky them up in the inside. Um, so you do want to, you want to just stick to water. Um, you do want to make sure like hold them upright, um, at the end of their feeding and stuff to make sure all the water is out. That's something I suggest. And then change them a dry diaper. Um, if you feed them now, I'm just paranoid like that, but if I feed them, 
let's say if I feed her in a video today, which she doesn't have a drinking wet, but if I fed her and she had a drinking wet today and I change her diaper, I'll probably think to change her diaper again, like that next day, just to be on the safe side. But usually once I change them, they're dry and that's that. But um, as far as like putting pacifiers in their mouth, um, some people squeeze the, the, the jaws like this. Some people hold the, you know, down a little bit. But I found that, you know, you can take the powder and put it on the nipple and it even just fine. But it does leave a white, like, like you had eight powdered donuts on the mouth. So I do like the fact that um, now they are saying that the KY is okay. Not Vaseline, but KY. Um, the KY is okay. Put a little bit on the nipple, just a little bit, and you ease it in. However... Um, oh wow, I'm sorry. I looked in her mouth and I'm like, dang, in the back of her throat looks so real. I didn't realize I, I, I got carried away with pain in the side of her mouth. But, um, anyway, and that's not that important. You know, a lot, we make a big deal about pain in the side of the mouth, but to be honest, I could care less about the inside of the mouth, um, as much. I mean, I love painting the little tones and all that and stuff, but to be honest, like, it's not a deal breaker for me with sculpts, like the, the inside of the mouth, as long as the pacifier fits in there. That's all I care about. Um, because to me, who's going to be looking inside the mouth? I barely can show y'all the details inside her mouth. You have to be right here to see it. Um, ooh, let me see. This, this might not be it. I was trying to find, um, baby powder. Oh, here it is. Nope. This is not even, well, this says per cornstarch, but it got some common lavender and all that stuff on it. But I have used it, but I know some people frown against using it, but I'll use it on the nipple. But I don't necessarily powder my babies anymore, so I don't know really what people are using these days. I know some people are using um, like matting silicone powders now for their babies. Um... But I don't, you know, I don't really use them. So, but anyway, so, and then when you're picking them up, you know, you want to support their head. If they don't have like armpits, you don't want to, you want to, you know, pick them up where you're not pulling on them. Even if they do have armpits, I don't recommend you like just like pulling them up by the arms, like. You know, just kind of, although I got my hand under here, I'm mainly supporting, like, right here behind her back and picking her up. So, like, so, 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 <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, so, like, this is my stank -a bank like, she's extremely posable <laughs> but yeah you and you don't want to now you see how I'm I pushed her legs but I'm not going to put her in a position that she doesn't naturally fall into that's another thing with silicones because you can easily cause a rip or a tear because if the silicone is not sculpted to go into like a position like this you forcing it in there, like I said, it could cause a rip or a tear or something, and you don't want to do that. You know, try to keep them in as natural positions as they they um, as you can, as far as how they're sculpted and how their silicone allows you to move it around. Um, I've seen people, you know, just trying to get a photo, mess up their whole doll because you're trying to get a photo. And this baby is not, not flexible enough for that. Now, here's the thing where some people may, you know, disagree with me on. But I feel the softer silicone have a little bit less possibilities of tearing versus the, um the the more firm because it's more flexible um so i absolutely love soft like i don't care 
I I love like I'll I'll take a, a soft jelly baby all day over you know a firma baby but I do like the firma babies as well for like I said different you know they're easy to handle um and depending on how they're sculpted they still will pose nice but you know I think all the babies have a place in the community like um I'm working on Jules right now and she's soft but she's not a super jelly soft but the baby actually pulls really nice from what i've seen as the blank i didn't get to really maneuver her around a lot but we'll see in the end when she gets painted and i do her photos and stuff but but she feels so good in your arms that's the thing about silicone like they it feels so good in your arms and you're able to have that full body experience and not have to worry about the cloth showing and all that great jazz now what what else um when you get ready like the cleaning their eyes like her eyes don't need to be clean right now but if they get a little dusty you can wet a q-tip and just you know wipe inside their eyes um if you want to rinse your babies off you can take them put them in the bathtub i wouldn't say let them sit don't pour no whole bunch of soaps and for bubbles and all that stuff in there just you know water a gentle rinse not <laughs> scrubbing or washing them literally just rinse them with water you could take a washcloth and run it through you can hold them over the sink like you would a regular baby and rinse their hair softly and gently to rinse any chemicals you might have in their hair from build up like really handle the babies with care um if you are inclined to put some type of soap or something in the water for smell good and I'll be honest with you guys <laughs> I hate to break it to you guys but people be like oh put a little Johnson and Johnson in the bathtub and it gives it a little baby smell here's a new flash your baby ain't gonna smell no different when they come out that Johnson and Johnson baby bath because I've put a drop or two in past silicone babies and when they get out they still smell like silicone so I ain't gonna lie um baby powder on them has you know help them a little bit but to be honest none of that really holds on the silicone as far as the scent that's just my past experience what does work is just spraying the clothes or the blankets like that um and it gives them that baby smell when they have on their clothes or if i like when i use a little little bit of fabric softener and water in their hair which i prefer to just use water but sometimes i do i might use a little bit in there truth be told that's what be smelling on my babies be smelling so good because of their hair and their clothes i know just i just me i just suggest you don't put chemicals on your baby that's just my thing um but like i said ky for the pacifier don't use try to use big old gigantic nipples you know forcing them out if you have to work too hard with that 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 pacifier the nipple is too big I really like like Nook pacifiers. They have smaller ones. Um, who else? Nook. Um, the little Jolly Pop and all them. The little round ones. I like those. I don't necessarily like Event as much because they fat and Tommy Tippy. They used to have the nice ones, but they changed their nipples on their pacifiers, and I don't really like them as much either anymore. But, um, I mean, like, her mouth is open, and she can take pretty much any pacifier. But I just don't prefer to put the big ones in there. Um, getting them dressed, always, you see, I grab her hand, and then I pull the clothes over her. And I try not to drag the clothes on her or pull her. If you notice, her clothes barely touched her. Um, her, this onesie barely touched her as I was pulling it through because when we doing all this rubbing and pulling, we're also putting wear and tear on their, their paint and they are still painted babies. Look at that. Look at that dude. Look at that. Look at that spanker boot. Look. Uh, 
Okay, let me stop. Um, but yeah. So yeah, you wanna you wanna handle them gently, like babies, and love on them. Yes, mama. See, love on me. Love on me, cause I'm just your treat. <laughs> um. You know, some of us, we be wanting the babies to suck their little fingers. And, like, they have armatures. You know, armatures shouldn't, you shouldn't have to work so hard. You know, look, look, barely, barely have to move. You know, if you want them to suck their fingers, okay. Be careful with your nails when you do that. You put it in there. You turn the head to where, just enough to where it's going to hold the position and utilize your armatures to make it work so um like this is this is my little stink bank so yeah you want to you know um like i said that's pretty much the brunt of it you really pretty much take care of them the same way you do reborns you know you don't want to lay them on sharp objects um you don't want to give them latex pacifiers that's the only difference between reborn. You pretty much, they pretty much are like, you know, just like the reborns. Like, minus, like I said, you there's some issues as far as trying to make sure that, you know, they're soft. I'm sorry, I'm trying to, I was trying to get it to where you guys can see more of her. There you go. Um, but yeah, um, their hair is not sealed. Uh, let me say that really quick. I know this video is extremely long, but their hair is not sealed in their head because you can't break, slice open the silicone and, and glue it in there. <laughs> so they're solid silicone. So unlike the reborns, which you don't want to be rough with my your reborns either because that hair could break off or pull too, but it is glued down. Silicone is not glued down. So you want to brush gently. You want soft baby brush or, you know, very soft bristle toothbrushes for their edges or like the uh what do you call it the the goat hair brush brush um brushes and stuff like that you want to use stuff like that for them so that's just you know those are my recommendations or a baby comb um but yeah nothing rough you always just want to be really super gentle with them um <clears throat> like i said Phoebe is one of my softer babies, but she's very durable. I still feel really comfortable handling her. I sometimes don't like to do changing videos videos with her because I don't want her to be y'all to be like freaking out because she she moves really. See, I move really good. But this is the best part about her. This is why she is a forever, ever baby, too. Because let me tell you something. I think she might have got a little bit of the extra soften going on with her and she just see I just mama just loves it and I love being able to take photos of her in all different positions and stuff because she's just so posable um she's so soft that her little face like like smushes in sometimes when she she um turns and stuff oh my gosh yes baby oh whoa but yeah she is such a dream like such a dream and 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 here's the other thing you don't have to comb your baby hair every day like you don't have to brush it every day you know sometimes you see phoebe she has wild hair you know why because guess what babies have wild hair <laughs> they are not always so put together like they you know you tell me what baby, every time they wake up, they look absolutely just everything in place, just fabulous. So, no. See? She's cute with wild hair. <laughs> Although all I got to do is push it down. Let's see. Let me show you. Get a little closer. Not afraid to get close up on her. That's my baby. That's my girl. Isn't she gorgeous? Guys, I am so proud of Phoebe. I love Phoebe. Phoebe and um, Phoenix have very similar features in their face as far as their coloring go. And that's why I named them two alike. If I haven't said that before, I think I did tell you guys that before. But 
I am so in love with him and I'm so in love with her. Like, I only have about that much room left. Like this, like this, this, wait, 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 this, this, this much room left to love other babies. <laughs> because I love her so much. I am so thankful to Claire Teller for sculpting such beautiful sculpts and putting them out there. And, and not only just Claire, but right now that's what I have in my collection, but just all the sculptors. I know this is the end of the video and nobody will probably hear this, but I just want to say, us collectors, I'm speaking from a collector standpoint, we thank the sculptors for selling blank silicone kits. And I'm sure a lot of collect collectors that um, artists are thankful and definitely collectors that can't afford the already painted babies really appreciate these blank sculpts. Like it gives us so much opportunity and you know I and then they started putting them in the soft and then giving the drink and wet features and all that stuff. It's just such a great thing. It's such a way and I'm gonna do that next. Um, I'm gonna talk about that next. Um, maybe we can do it as a live conversation about different ways that you find ways to achieve uh, bringing home your dream baby or you know being able to afford a silicone baby when you thought you couldn't or whatever i i love to talk about that and how we can budget even with dolls because there's some reborn babies some babies from some other artists that i would love to be able to bring home and i don't know like how i'm gonna do it but one day i am gonna bring you know a few other ones in but yeah so anyway, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Again, I know this has been a long video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if it's something I missed, this question as far as taking care of your first silicone baby. Um, they are okay to take out, you know, if you're traveling and they're in the car and it's kind of hot outside or you're going for a long walk and it's hot, they will be okay in the heat. Um, I wouldn't leave any doll, like, in the trunk of your car for, like, hours and all that type of stuff i prefer you don't leave your babies in the car but hey if you decide to i think if you're running in the store and as long as you cover it up so nobody breaks the window you're okay and coming back out but um yeah um carrying bags are really nice if you don't want to have to buy a whole car seat set up um the totes are really nice for the silicone babies um like i said some people are using like just mat and stuff like that um and I I have used it like on a, a baby in the past and it does give it a smooth feel. I don't know, you know, the long term and all that, but I know a lot of people swear by it. So, you know, I can't endorse that or suggest products that I haven't used long term, but there are other, you know, powdering stuff out. Um, I don't powder my babies, but like I said, if you get a little shine spot, you could probably use it for that. Um, Phoebe has a shine spot. Like, I'm looking on her leg. Like, she has a little shine spot. You know, they're going to have a shine spot here or there. There's no baby I've ever gotten that don't have a shine spot somewhere. But it doesn't bother me, like, when I first started. When I first started, powdering the babies was just a thing. Like, it was something that I just really wanted to do. I just really loved it. Really, really wanted to do it. And it felt nice to powder them. And it was a big sensation. You looked on YouTube. You look at older videos of silicone babies. Everybody and their mama was powdering their babies. You get the little makeup brush. It's just fun. And if that's what you want to do with your baby, then do it. You know what I mean? Like, don't let nobody tell you you can't. Then after a couple, you know, weeks or so, rinse the baby off. Because that will dull down their coloring and stuff like that. And sometimes it shows up in pictures. Your baby will be looking like a little dusty, you know, moo moo. But poop will be a little dusty, but you'll be excited because you don't got to brush it. It's up to you what you do. But anyway, thanks guys for watching. I'm going to go. Bye.